New Jersey's top elected officials huddled for two hours in private state budget talks Thursday afternoon but left without a deal to avert a state government shutdown this weekend. The sit-down was dubbed. Phil Murphy's longest yet with his fellow Democrats, who control the New Jersey legislature. State Assembly Speaker Craig Coughlin characterized it as a good meeting and said they'd be back at it tomorrow. Murphy and lawmakers have until midnight Saturday to reach a deal on the budget and avoid the second shutdown in two years. Earlier Thursday, Murphy said he was confident there was a deal to be had even as his administration prepared contingency plans. Full list of what would be open. Or state shut down, I would be abrogating my responsibilities if we did not plan for the whole range of outcomes, if logic doesn't prevail, including a shutdown of the state, Murphy told reporters. As he met with members of his cabinet in Trenton, the governor and lawmakers are scrambling to put together plans in hopes of reaching a compromise, but they have remained far apart on the issue of taxes. While Murphy wants to increase income taxes on the well-to-do and restore the sales tax from 6.625% to 7%, State Senate President Stephen Sweeney, D. Gloucester, and Coughlin, D. Middlesex, said New Jerseyans could afford no more. They have offered instead to raise corporation business taxes on the state's largest corporations to a nation-high 13% for four years, double the realty transfer fee on high-end home sales to 2% and expand the sales tax to include short-term rentals. Chelsea Handler, Al Gore weigh in on budget mess the legislature passed a budget last week with that business tax hike and other savings and revenue raisers that, in vowing to veto it, Murphy called gimmicks in one-shots. He said New Jersey needed sustainable and fair solutions to its middle-class doldrums, and its most well-to-do should pick up the tab. In the Trenton ecosystem continue to play games and toss Hail Mary passes from the State House to see if just one can end in the end zones. So far, they've all been short, Murphy said during a news conference at Grove Elementary School in Trenton on Thursday afternoon, shortly before meeting with lawmakers. I'm not, for example, open to giving millionaires, on one hand, a free pass so we can tax a family's long-awaited week's vacation at the Jersey Shore, the governor added. But for lawmakers, the millionaire's tax has been a non-starter. Democrats, led by Sweeney, had long desired to place a surcharge on income over $1 million, putting it on the desk of former Governor Chris Christie, a Republican, five times. But Sweeney had a 180-degree reversal after Republicans passed federal tax reform that capped state and local income tax deductions at $10,000. He said the corporations that received tax cuts from that overhaul were awash with cash and government should look there for new revenues. Murphy, meanwhile, said he was loath to position New Jersey as an outlier and discourage business retention and expansion. Murphy can still veto the legislature's budget in full or in part, and he has the option to order a shutdown of all government services not necessary for the public's health and welfare. Sine did not immediately return a message seeking comment Thursday night. NJ Advance Media staff writers Matt Argo and Brent Johnson contributed to this report. Samantha Marcus may be reached at smarcus at advancemedia.com. Follow her on Twitter at Samantha Marcus. Find NJ.com Politics on Facebook.